Greetings, everybody. Um, I know I usually start off with a song, and uh, today will be no different. Um, I'm going to play Cyrax's latest song, just as like a frame of reference for the overall quality of music generated and produced. And um, this this song, it's not just a great rap song, and it is. But um, I could truly say it was a therapeutic experience. I, uh, I tapped into myself and just felt good to let it out. Um, it was an emotional experience. But let's, let's get to this Cyrax song, and then uh, I'll debut and drop what I think is going to be the hit of this album so far. But then again... Um, Who's to say that I can't keep topping myself, but it is a lot of pressure. Let's just say that I'm pretty proud of this. Oh, wow, it's so bad. Every day to listen to this shit you know it's just so god awful always whining about his non-existent problems you know no talent whatsoever terrible auto-tune i don't even know why this guy tries in music anymore it's just time to give it up like i put him in his fucking grave and i'm just gonna keep piling dirt on top of it just keep piling dirt on top of it and all right let, let's should, should i even play through this what do you think chad What's the point? You know, it, it's got awful. <laughs> a lot of the same. Always bad. Been for a long time. Yeah. Um, no, no, you know, but okay, that's one no. I don't want to say everybody, but tech, is, is one person everybody? No. Nah. No. I don't. I don't even want to hear it. Um, I know CGC's seen. Uh, the music video. Um, uh, I think we've heard it many times before. Yeah, right. All right, without any further ado, and let me say this. Um, it's a big moment in any rapper's career, their first music video. And, and Burger Boy, I'm just glad he could be a part of it. Um, Hell yeah. How did you feel about the song? Well, I, I've already done it about other subjects but so it don't hurt me to admit it but i cried wow. i cried touched me i never heard about that kind of love before um yeah, i think it was pretty good i think it was pretty fucking good all right well here, here goes nothing <laughs> Together forever, we can make it through the weather. I don't care if it's a storm, I don't care if we're, we are the norm. <laughs> we can do magical things. You have to believe in me, Cyrax. Together, we can reach a climax in our careers. So, YouTube is a job, definitely is. Everything I do for my income, that's where I derive my funds. That's a real thing, oh yeah. Cyrax, I believe in you. Wanna be in you. You were my man. I love that you were influenced by Japan. Wanna kiss you on the head. 
I can heal you. Kiss you inside the bed. Oh, my friend, don't mind that I want to put it in your rear and side out. Put my fingers inside of your anus. Together, you will be famous. I want to hold you up on your hips. Cyrax, I want to kiss you on the lips. Want to lick you on your hairy man nips. Cyrax, I don't care that you are four feet tall. I don't know why you always say I'm bald. Oh, yes, I am. But so are you. So what's the deal, man? Hey, Cyrax, you are my friend. We can do it until the end. Cyrax, you will be my little prince. Together we can do lots of sins. Only if you subscribe to the Bible. Have you ever seen the movie Fible? I don't know what that means. But it rhymes. See what I mean? Hey, sir, I see all the best. I want to hold you on top of my chest. I don't care that you threaten me every day. We can live only way that we are meant to be. You haven't said to me. Hey, Cyrax, we are meant to be. I will put my fingers inside of your butthole. Without you, I have no soul. But you make me want to be a better person. Without you, the quality of my life, it worsens. Every day, every way, how I give it to you. Last month showing Kansas City cheap. And that doesn't make it gay. Well, you know, I've, I've been rapping for about two hours and 15 minutes total. I mean, if you count the amount of days. Um, I'd love to see Cyrax respond to this one. Just can't do it. Um, it was nice to let, like, true feelings out. Um, and uh, if I haven't already, put my cards on the table. <clears throat> you know, sometimes I feel like subtlety isn't the way to go to get what you want but I don't know um oh, uh, <laughs> I haven't checked it uh today yet uh Captain Pollock I I did check earlier and uh thank you for the cash apps while I was sleeping uh that's <laughs> you know uh those are always the uh uh like well you know yeah this guy uh I don't know if you did any uh, any starts to stuff here. I'll, I'll got you. This is the, you know the music video debut, and uh, um, I just kind of want to. You know what? Here, uh, I'll play it. I mean, listen, I, <laughs> I'm selling out as an artist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? uh, uh, hey, the man paid. The man you know, paid. Play his fucking see. video. Yeah, um, I'll make sure to do that. Um, I just want to to let everyone know that, um, yeah, I might be like a phenom, a legend, but um, when I get to Hollywood, I, I might send you an email over here and there. Um, Um, I'll I'll still make time for the little people. Um, depending on where you live, maybe you could come by and mow my lawn. <clears throat> uh, no, but um, maybe like wash my car or something like that. I don't want you people stepping on my property. Um, <clears throat> uh. You're a caring man? Yeah, listen. Um, tell you this. Either you got it or you don't. And uh, I don't think anybody's ha ever had it like me in the rap game. Um, 
it'll be cool to tell people that I was here when it started happening. You know, the first couple hours of your rap career. And you're only yes. into what two right now? That's amazing. Um, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, Think about what you'll be like at a thousand hours. You know how many uh, how many hours from ten years? Dude, uh, you could literally be in space by then, at this rate. Um. Yeah, if, if rappers career income projections are based off of what they've made in like the initial stages of their career, then uh, I would say that at this pace, um, I'll, I'll be like a billionaire by 2025. Um, meanwhile, you got guys like Cyrax who spent 13 years to make $5 and 61 cents. Um, oh fuck. I saw the, the, that video earlier. Um, I didn't want to play that. Uh, um, I don't know. I mean, what can you say? Like to just, to just be, uh, this good at something just right off the bat. It's, it's kind of scary. Um, Uh, I, I I couldn't do this for 13 years and like being like a true prodigy. Um, uh, I, I couldn't watch somebody just waste 13 years of their life. You know, I, I've never tried this before, but it's really not that hard. Um, I, how could you? <laughs> Cyrax, give it up. You just got put into your grave, son. You're only doing all this out of spite because Cyrax rejected you. Well, try, try again. Let's see if I can find this. I'm going to eat my lunch as well, so... Wow, 87,660 hours in 10 years. What was that number? 88,000, 87,660. Wow. Amazing. $5.81. That's a, I can't even imagine a let like you could literally do anything and get more money. You could just walk around outside with your hand out. <laughs> Quietly, um, there's there's any activity on earth almost that would have somehow made you more money than that. Laying on the street, face down on the road, you may have like caught a couple bucks. Okay, um, I think he he made like a sixth of a penny a day, so he could have like went and collected a can like every few <laughs> weeks, you know, like a five cent can, and. uh if he provides no fiscal support, he, phys yeah. he physically, like, he refuses to do any kind of physical labor around the house. Yeah. Like, so, like, what <laughs> help is he? He's like, he, he berates him constantly with his, like, with everything he says and does, his emotional abuse. Like, there's, what, where's the help, Chance? What are you helping them do? Are you, like, are you, like, some kind of, like, like, antagonist figure in their life that, like, makes them realize, like, the, the sweetness of other moments? Like, dealing with you is the bitter... <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, the darkly terrible, and then, like, everything else is a joy. I don't know what your purpose beyond, like, just being something that hurts people and is um, bad at music. I, okay, I could see Cyrus having that purpose as far as, you know, like, if he came by, say, like, a day a week, just to, like, you know, maybe sail and I could be like, oh, thank God he's gone. <laughs> when they enjoy the moments, like, oh, I'm really not looking forward to that, but it's constant. And he never leaves. He never will. Yeah. It, okay. So here's here's a crazy way to help your family. Like leave the house <laughs> for 24 hours. Like go sleep in a in a ditch. Mm -hmm. Go sleep at that dude's house that like the, that that likes you sexually. What's his name? His friend. Uh, Security Jake. Security Jake. Go go sleep over at Security Jake's house. Get hold up. Make Jake happy. You'll help out your family. Bam. Mm -hmm. You'll dunk on Marty. You'll that because Marty can't do that. He can't. You know. Uh, because that's all he's got left now. He say like Marty, 
like you might be more successful by the fans, by the money, by like just the sheer objective nature of music, but like you can't um, take care of my family like I can. Hmm. Um, that somehow he's a better rapper than you because of that. Okay, I know I found. Oh shit! Um, you gotta like the uh, the Cyrax archives. Um, they do a good job. Thank you everybody for saving the things that you save, even if I don't like you and you have a great YouTube channel to save stuff. Thank you. You don't like them? No, I'm just saying. Even like I really like the person yeah. that runs that a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, even if I didn't, don't think that I don't appreciate it. Um, that's independent of my personal opinion. People just need to save stuff more. Fuck, where did I see this? Um, what would I type in? What are you looking for? It's there's an archive. A, yeah, there's there's a ten minute thing of Cyrax. Um, like you're, you're, to, you're talking to experts in the field too, all in the chat. You can just ask them. Yeah, he go like it's where he reveals like his five dollars and eighty one cents uh, as like a brag. Um, you got it uh, right here. There you go. I don't know the timestamp. It's a thirty minute clip. But here you go on the show. Yeah, I don't think that's the one. I, I think I saw something else. Um, okay. I don't, but it's not. Hmm. Well, we could just get him on here. Um. Yeah, here. How, do you, how do you normally do that? You just. Uh, I mean, I he just gets so that. he gets so aroused. I guess I've posted it in um, the chat before, and I guess people sent it to him. So I guess like that's the way to go. Um, yes. I, I actually can view it. I don't. Was it, was it recently? Is it this one with his phone out? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Wait, do you have something up here? I just sent you it in your. Oh shit! Okay. Discord. All right. All right. Um, I think it could be. I'm giving you a fair warning, bro. I'm to talk to you. No, no. Uh, who knows? Mm -hmm. Who knows? That was my last shot. All right. All right. So dense. It's all the same. We live in fucking Groundhog he, Day. He goes, he goes 339. Over, <laughs> he goes over his monthly earnings. Um. <laughs> um, He's got to have some kind of redeeming quality, man. He's got to do something. It can't all be nothing. That's too fucked up. Well, it is nothing, but he thinks that he's doing something. Um, he believes like this, well, this is all going to pay off for him. <laughs> uh, it's going to be something mumbled like out of his like slack mouth while he's getting raped at a group home. All the little stories and the things that he's, you know, that he believes. Cyrax, there's still time. Just try to be normal, dude. Um, Disengage from Marty before he wears your skin. I don't know what happened here. Um, Did you get uh, Captain Pollywog Vanderbeef's money? Stop sending him money. I'm going to say it. Cap, stop sending Marty money. Hang on, let me check uh, the <laughs> thing here. Oh, He's yeah, not I made responsible. Made He's here. not keeping up with it. Oh man! Sorry, Marty. Um, Sorry. Shit! 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 shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Fuck. That's yeah. My bad. Uh, listen. You, you know, I'm sorry. I just, I just, it's my big music video debut. You know, as I really poured my heart on. I, I got distracted, but thank you. I, I, uh, thank you. Um. Listen, I'm, I'm trying to eat a lunch here, okay? I've got to – my shrimp's getting cold. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, so let me – Is that that walk fired? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Have you tried it yet? No. That's pretty good. I don't, I don't eat out a lot, but I'm going to have to put that down as the, as the one. 
because I got a Panda Express within range. I don't think it's that good. Um, it's not worth. Oh, you're you know, eating it cold. <laughs> I uh, I ate Panda yesterday, and uh, um, they can't double, do double they, panding. Yeah, they can't give you like the little. Uh, a little bird birdie told me that the wok shrimp was very good. And, um, uh, you know, I I go there. It didn't really look good. You know, you look at it in that little fucking metal tray, and it's um, <laughs> but, but it's like, mm, no, nah, I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Can I just get a sample? And they're like, no, we don't do that anymore. But they put like one little piece in in the little box. And uh, and I tried and it was really good and I figured you know what I wish I had more of that I think I made a mistake not going with the shrimp, um, yeah so let me find something to play uh, or Burger Boy can read the chat or whatever um, get here. Captain Pollywog videos going oh shit yeah 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 well I was just thinking long term because it's. It's um, they're like a minute long. You know what I mean? Like I'd like just, somebody here. I got just go to his channel, and then hit play all. You can oh, It'll you take can it from that? the top. Yeah. All right, wonderful. Whoa! Right, right next to the word uploads. I don't think I've seen this one actually. Yeah, yeah. you can just play them from the top. Bob Schultz and I, we go to Longwood, oh, California. He drives around the clock. Yes, this guy. Across the country, you have guy, sex a with a little girl. California. He intends he to make his quote yes, bride. Am I doing this? The dwarf traveler. With yes, he's a dwarf. With a urine bottle, his quote, busted, and a child sex. Oh my god! They travel across the country. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm fucking this up terribly. All right. Okay, where's the play all thing? I just want to get the most recent one and because I actually haven't seen that. Uh, just go, scroll down and click on his channel net, his name on the video. And then you hit play all next to uploads. He's so low. Well. Make his quote, bride, the dwarf traveler, yes, he's a dwarf, with a urine bottle, busted, and a child sex stain. They traveled across the country using adult diapers and urine cans to try to kill her love rival when this guy crosses the country, Kansas City, all the way to Florida. The car covered in human feces and urine. What they found, a urine-soaked bottle. They found a female wallet with six dollars and fifty cents in it, oh, and the truck was soiled with human okay, waste. Okay, guys, there he is. He may be a dwarf <laughs> to us. Uh, oh, you're, that's a video of Christopher Landing's part walk from WOSL. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Um, there's just so many elements here. Tonight, we go to Longwood, California. He drives around the clock. Yes, this guy. Across the country to have sex with a little girl. He intends to. He drives around the clock, around the country. <laughs> wow, he's... Um, I guess, like... To me, do you think this little midget guy <laughs> driving around in a car full of shit is actually, like... If there's any 14-year-old girls who would actually want to meet up with him, like, is this is this happening? Maybe. I don't know. I mean... Kids, kids are online like way too much. I worry that like they're weird too, like a super weird kid, super weird ugly kid, talking to some adult midget. I mean, I can't discount it. Mm. That's why if your kid's fucking weird, you need to just hit the router with a fucking axe because they're just they're just gonna find weirder people online that are older. And this midget's mm -hmm. gonna drive across. He was man, he was gunning for it. How long? That's a long ass fucking drive. Was he just shitting? Like just like just shitting in the car? I think um, the car was covered in human feces. <laughs> so he was just driving and shitting. <laughs> Imagine you're like pulled up. Okay. Halfway across the country, he gets out to like gas up, right? Mm -hmm. Like and you just like you're you're gassing up next to him. You just see like Cyrax shaped man 
covered in human <laughs> shit all the way up to his back because he's just been shitting up, you know, like. And he's crazed. He has a massive erection. He's clutching a, a wallet and he's taking a picture out of it with a little girl in it. And he's just dro- he's just drooling. He knocks almost knocks the gas fucking can out. I mean, would you? Well, someone must have saw him. Um, <laughs> diaper can only hold so much. Okay, Trina. <laughs> Adult diapers, yeah. So he's like changing his own diaper. Um, it said he's wearing. They say diaper fetish or wearing a diaper. I think the the diapering and the piss bottle was just like that's like a he was just dedicated. Hmm. I don't know if that was like a fetish. Oh, like to dedicated to what though? To get the fuck, I guess going to wherever he was going. Okay, um... but it was just a federal. It was just some guy. It was a federal agent on a computer. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, honestly, and God bless our law enforcement. uh, That'd be pretty funny to be like your job is to like trick like a a midget to drive across the country. (laughs) Tell us, don't wait, don't you, don't you stop for pee pee. Would he just be given the Cyrax treatment though, and like viewed as like? You know, a detention risk. Uh, and they're like, well, you better not do that again. You know, uh, Cyrax could strangle his grandmother. And, um, usually that's like a pretty big deal. I don't know. Um, hmm. Make his quote, Bride the Dwarf. I mean, what a, what a title. Dwarf Traveler with Urine Bottle Busted in Child Sex Thing. Um, <laughs> Cops, suspect peas and bottle to speed up his trips. <laughs> dwarf traveler, yes, he's a dwarf with a <laughs> urine bottle busted and a child sex sting. Who traveled across the country using adult diapers and urine cans to try to kill her love rival with this guy. Crosses the country, Kansas City, all the way to Florida. The car covered in human feces and urine. What they found, a urine-soaked bottle. They found a female wallet with $6.50 in it, and the truck was soiled with human... Okay. Who do you think the woman was? You think like he stole it? Or... His mama? Hmm. It's weird to me, the 50 cents in the wall. Hey, mama, I'm leaving. Okay, come back soon. She takes her wallet. I don't know about you, but I always put coins in in just my pocket, you know? Um, Put them in the wall. I don't handle cash. I'm like a total, like, bug man of the new world. Hmm. My shrimp here. This hey shrimp rate brought to you is. by Cyrex. Be a dwarf to us. Uh, oh, you're, that's a video of Christopher Lanning's part walk from W O. Uh, oh, you're, that's a video of Christopher Lanning's part walk from W O S L. He may be a dwarf to us, but not to a little girl. Wouldn't he still be a dwarf? Yeah, he's still a dwarf to the other. Maybe he's more dangerous because they're like a similar stature. She's trying to say Nancy Grace is AIDS. But that was a good video, Pollywog. Let's watch another Pollywog video. Oh, yeah, here, hold up. Bayan um... Darbifu. What is this? Stop. What the fuck? Hmm. What's carcass rotting flesh? Carcass rotting flesh. Yeah. I have no. I, what do you... you see the picture? It says carcass rotting flesh. Oh, well, hold up. Um, picture. No, I'm I'm on like a different screen here. Uh... <laughs> I 
there are times where he's definitely, definitely, definitely high uh, on something. Like, you, you know, um, I don't think like by choice. Uh, but I think we can all agree with that. Like, he has to be drugged. Like, I don't know if he takes it willingly or it slipped, but there are times where he's, he, he's hot. He looks fucked up. He doesn't like him. Those talks about like with a terrible tool. Hey, what's up, everybody? I got one complaint. Um, the wok shrimp. I have peapods. I'm not a real peapod guy. Ah, peapods are good though. Um, what do you like? Fucking water chestnuts or something? I like to laugh at them. And- bamboo. I like the ban- the ban- like bamboo shoots. I don't know what Panda's got lately. I haven't been there in a long time. Um, you know, what I enjoy some. Uh, you ever have pad Thai burger, boy? That's just good. I like a lot of Asian cuisine when they, like, if you get them to make it the way they would eat it, be like, hey, give me something weird. I like their, um, I like crushed peanuts. So I would say that's my favorite adornment on that. That's crazy how they use the peanut as like a flavor. I don't understand why everyone was so angry with this, uh, Dev C. And uh, I also saw on the Discord earlier. What's going on, Dev C? Well, I, um, no, people just don't seem to like the guy. He seems like a pretty all right guy to me. I don't... Well, you got some people think he's insufferably boring, and then you got some those that crew. There was that crew of people who were trying to make him into some kind of lol cow, and then there's a lot of people that don't like him because he was simping for Jasmine, and then there's people that support Jasmine that don't like him because he like snaked on her. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's like a. Oh man, where's your uh, your chud tape? Didn't you, didn't you do one recently? Oh yeah, you want to? Yeah, yeah, um, that was a good that was, one. Uh, we got tapes. Um, and we I kind of like <laughs> forgot. We forgot to like. I guess like you know we didn't know the call. We thought it just disconnected automatically. <laughs> oh shit, Marty! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. All right. I'll do it again. Hope you like getting banned, Marty. Good luck. I hope you like getting banned. Do you think like a, a sign of a rap bat of a rap battler whipping his penis out and then running away is a sign that he won <laughs> or lost a rap battle? I mean, one obviously. Dan, Marty, because that's what's gonna Good happen luck. to you, bro. When your emotions control your actions, it affects not only yourself, but the people around you. Right, yeah. That's what you say. Nature endows us at birth with three general patterns of emotional response. Rage. You deserve to be dead. It's the response to the primary. Do you think that um? So I know, like, the consensus has been pretty, pretty anti Yoko, and I have to say that, like, for some reason, like, I, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, there are things that I like about him. Um, I'm not sure if, like, what's your stance on him? Oh, on Yoko. I'm just done. It's over. It's over. Goodbye, Yoko. 
<clears throat> we can't. It's, it's it's any like the best situation. Whatever happens in his life, if he interacts with this space anymore, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Um. Yeah. The the indifference of the crowd is probably the like. It's probably the best it's going to get. It's turning fast. And some people don't know, and I know this sounds maybe a little harsh, but like Exile is better for him right now. Um, and forever. Yeah, I mean, that could probably be said for pretty much everybody, I would say, right? Uh, well, I mean, I guess Minnie Manson died on his couch last night, so I can't say that about him. <laughs> With no tuna party pizza from La Villa. Mm. Y- Yoko's just got he spent too much time with people they got and they, they got a big grudge against him some of them are mentally ill like him they're not going to stop there's a bunch of people that will just like they're going to find out more shit they're going to read his Kiwi Farms thread which is not going to be good for him which has got a bunch of old stuff um, I haven't looked at it yeah it's not good it's just you know Yoko you just can't escape if you repeat things that you've done in the past it's harder to escape them, and it's it seems like he's getting caught up in that right now. What do you think about the Uncle Jesse thing? It's not true. No, it's true. He's just a. It's unfortunate that he was struck with schizophrenia as a teen, and um, you know, just like Heather, I'm sure like he realized through therapy about a sexual assault. Um. You know, I can't help but um, but like the kid, but um, yeah, uh, just as far as like, you know, for the most part, I'm here for entertainment, and um, unless he's like doing something with Tammy, um, kind of, I don't know, um, uh, and you know, like because for I guess he wants like my you know attention it, it seems and um approval I don't want like to use that to get him to fuck around with Tammy um you know I, I don't think that anyone should you know uh but you know it, it's tempting you know especially when she starts like going ape shit and um then again I, I think if uh you gave Dylan like an opportunity to move out, like and have everything set up, and gave him like his, you know, his seven hundred dollars a month. Um, that like it, it, it wouldn't go very well for him. I don't know. Um, I, and I don't know if he would leave. Um, I don't know. I, I mean. Oh man, I feel okay. I'm just gonna say it. I'm sorry, Dylan, if you hear this or somebody clips it. Dylan is he's he's functionally disabled to a point where he may never have a real life or a life that he could be held accountable by the kind of things that people asked of him. He might receive attention and gifts and happiness for a brief time, but like he'll continue to go through the cycles until he stays on a on a set amount of medication for a set amount of time, and then they could adjust things and maybe help him. But then only then in that space would he even want to start trying to be normal. We probably have never even met a Dylan like that. And again, like from his background, unfortunately cataloged by Kiwi Farms, he's not going to have a future online ever. He's a very distinctive looking person. We know your voice now. It's just never going to end for you, man. Uh, unless, unless you try to take your medicine and chill out. But I don't think that's going to happen. What's like the worst that could happen to him that hasn't already though. Um, self like like egregious self. He pushed to pushed to a level of egregious self harm. He could hurt, you know, a do- he could kill a dog. Um, oh, dog. Kill, kill Tammy. I mean, Tammy's see, all, he lives with elderly people too. Like they're they're weak. He's a big boy. So you're saying that people would try and succeed to get Dylan to kill his mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are the odds of that? I don't know, man. What were the, what were the odds of, uh, you know, Christian Weston Chandler boinking Barbara? Hmm. No, but I mean, look. It's pretty bad. 
There might not be a way out for him. And if that's the truth, then it's a horrible place to hear it. That's not what I want to be saying. Take your meds and clean your room. Thank you. Sir. That could be that. That's the that's the hope and dream of a young man like Yoko. Or, I mean, he is an adult man. He's not young. He ain't young, Yoko. Um. Oh shit! Here, hang on. Uh. Yeah, I don't know if Yoko. Um, what can you really like tell him? You know, I don't. Um, hmm. I mean, like, if you want like five dollars to go and like yell at your mother uh, anytime, you know, like it's I, I enjoy that, but like I don't. If you're gonna do that, <laughs> you, know, you, you might as well. Um, I just get paid for it. Um, but like. I feel kind of like wrong doing that at the same time, but uh, if it's what's going on anyways, I don't know. Um, you know, no, I, I don't. I'm going to take that back. I will give you $2 to start trouble with your mother. Um, pray for him. What are you streaming right now? Um, I think Yoko is actually like five two, three hundred and ninety pounds, I believe. Uh, or no, that's Heather, I think. I, I think Yoko. I remember he was like about fifteen pounds lighter. Um, let me get a second here. Uh, Yoko is streaming right now. Yikes, Yoko, get off the get off the internet, dude. What's the internet ever done for you, man? You got everything you need right in front of you. You got, you got money. You got food. Just start cleaning that room. Pray a bunch. Pray a bunch. That helps. It helps. We're at the praying a bunch phase, Marty. You know there isn't like a. There isn't much better than doing that, especially when stuff's real shitty. Hmm. He does. He doesn't have a belly full of walk fired chicken or walk fired shrimp. We couldn't even get him popcorn chicken. Um, I thought you were trying to say that I don't have a belly of full walk full chicken. <laughs> I'm saying that you do. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying that in a situation like this, we're we're definitely looking looking askance. I wouldn't say looking down at a, at a serious situation that's not ours. So our advice isn't only a certain amount of helpful. Ooh, you got darts in 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, see, you know. Uh, um. Yeah, don't go look. You know, I mean, that's, why do I even say it? Well, if you do look at his thread, just remember. Just remember what? Just remember that, like, he's a human being. And Kiwi Farms is, like, a place that's, like, meant to, like, create a situation where you don't have to think they're a human being by putting them all out, like, drawing them all out into, like, a, like a caricature. And he mm -hmm. does, he's a lot like, I mean, it's hard to argue that he's not, like, some kind of freakish cartoon character from hell at this point. Um, But he is still a person. And you can pray for him. Yeah, that'll do a lot. Um, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Get him. Well, wait. You know, you wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't order uh, Andrew Roach any La Vila, or you couldn't last night. You want to order? Uh, you want to order Yoko some walk fired shrimp? Just um, to kind of make things a little. You know what? Maybe. Um, For what though? Well, if his mother wouldn't give him walk fired shrimp, uh, <laughs> he's got to pay a price. Uh, but I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear a calm Tammy recount the rape situation at the Overeaters Conference because she deserves, and I, I mean this com with complete honesty and no comedy. She alert she deserves to have her side of it said to this audience because we're we've had Yoko say constantly that it was her fault. 
it was her negligence that he was done this. And now I think most of us don't even believe it exists. Do you? Um, it's only fair. I'm just thinking, like, if that's possible. Um, I, I think you would have to pay Tammy. Uh, and then the question is, like, what would it be worth to just speak with her calmly for an hour? And whenever she got not calm, you could, like, like listen. You know? <laughs> that's not part of the conversation. Um, you think, how about, like, 100 bucks? You think she'd consider 100 bucks? Well, the problem is, is once we pay her, it's just not going to, it's not going to hit right. Well, listen, you know, like 25 or 15 minutes and progress from there. Like if it's, uh, true story. Base Shaman is not based. Base Shaman sucks. Um, I don't know. I used to watch his stuff. Um, I, the, the, the Lornography. That's a lot of Lorn. That's 10 hours of good content. Base Shaman sucks otherwise. For me, that's my... How was Life Giant's video premiere? Any good? It was really good, except Chris Hansen showed in the Discord um, how to do the technique that he dis displayed better in like a couple seconds. It was pretty disappointing. <laughs> you know what? This reminded me. Um, I... Uh... <laughs> this guy's so Dylan. Uh, what I used to watch in Base Shaman was this thing on this guy, uh, Joseph8276. Do you know who I'm talking about? Oh, wait a minute. It sounds familiar. Let's watch. Can we watch some of it? Yeah, here. I want to I wanna make sure uh, I find like a good one because this guy's pretty funny. You show me this. You show me this guy. Yeah, you show me this guy like really early when I first started talking to you. Yeah. Oh, here. Okay, here. Uh... There's a full I'm angry about girls by standards. Okay, there's a full there's a full playlist here. This guy, he's got Oh man, it's ordered too. I gotta save this. Um Okay, here, hold up. Uh I, I wish I could randomize this. Um Okay. Wait, hang on, hang on. Joseph eighty two seventy six here. <laughs> you want a rant from the beast? You're going to get a rant from the beast. I guess they're not too similar, but this is the beast, Joseph eighty two seventy six. Yeah, damn right, boys. I'm back. That beast is fucking back. You damn right. You damn right. Today, this rant is on girls. Now, my friend Scott Williams, Scotty, I, as I call him, oh shit, am I made a, uh, what am he I made doing? a status on Facebook here. Dude, yeah, my bad. And I uh, just want to read it off bit by bit, and I'll give you the best part. You girls want to find a good guy. First thing you should do, stop being so goddamn picky. <laughs> I agree with that. I really do. Now, girls, this... Um, I don't know how I feel about the rainbow arm sleeveys, but I think that gold hat is dope. It's really cool. This status is absolutely correct. You have to stop being so picky. Stop being picky. Looks are gonna wet. Looks are gonna fade away after a while, girls. You need to realize that. And then he says, "And lower your fucking standards. <laughs> you might find somebody. Sure, they might not be the best looking ones, but hey, they. But hey." Uh, looks fade away after a while. Yeah. You know who really struggles with that is Heather. Um, uh, like holding out for Jimmy. You've seen uh, Nike Mike, the sales rep. Um, fuck, I'd have to look for that picture. But uh, well, no, nobody wants to like lower a standard, quote unquote, right? But the standard coming from coming from her. I mean, she she ain't never been anywhere close to more than a four or five. Her whole, I mean, now she's like a zero. 
Um, but she, so she can't be pulling. She can't try to pull like a six or a seven. No way. Well, I mean, I do think that like she could get like homeless guys like to. Yeah, she could. She could get like a real like sick person to bang her. I think like they're just asleep there. Um, like hey, don't fall asleep until you do what I say. And she's like thundering from her room, like mom, bring him in to fuck me. <laughs> um. Yeah, she's so nasty to that mother of her sometimes. She's really bad at Dana. Um, then I, you wonder, like, as far as your interactions with these people, like, um, are you creating, like, a dynamic for them to just be abusive to their parents? Or, like, that had to be pre-existing. It's not like something that could have came out of nowhere, right? Well, it's, okay, it's a mixed bag, right? Because... We all we talked about how like Heather couldn't have got that big by herself kind of situation. Yeah. So I can't. So like yeah. if she like tortures Tammy, and Tammy's like overfeeding her, like and then how many years of that before like one of them like they're both not guilty anymore really they're both just like that codependent awfulness. Not ta- not Tammy. You mean um... oh sorry, uh, Dana. Dana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, drown- yeah. I'm drowning in moms. Yeah. Um. I guess it's probably like pretty creepy of us to be this well, aware of like. Well, there's even and there's also there's even a Tammy Hess who's in the Dana Kane universe. That's another Tammy. I, I wasn't talking about you, Tammy Hess. You're a very nice lady. Thank you for revealing all those uh, things about Dana. Um. Yeah, I haven't seen this person, but they just seem like one of these cat ladies, these Kiwi Farms dog rapists. Um. Oh, Tammy. You want? Well, you want to look at her? I mean, she, I mean, okay, well, here. This is the lady that's going toe to toe with Dana Kane. I mean, you've had Dana on, so maybe you have to have Tammy on. I don't know. No, I bet she's too afraid, honestly. Probably. There you go. She's just a gutless dog rapist. They love her on Kiwi Farm. They they adore her. Oh, wow. Hi everybody. Anybody oh, oh, on? Oh wow. Oh wow. I just um okay, I'll listen, I'll go into it with an open mind. I'll wait for a few minutes and see if anybody joins me before I dive into what the topic of conversation is today. Yeah, I mean, Todd's right. Dana's thread is very a loggy, and that's, yeah, the dog fuckers. I haven't seen it. Um, you don't have, I mean, Dana doesn't look at it either. She has somebody else look at it for her. Why? That's what she said. Okay. Well, maybe folks will join us as uh, as we're going along. If not, I am sure somebody will grab the video um, like they did yesterday and get it out to whoever it is that wants to see it. So I want to give you some background information on me because Dana seems to think she knows so much about me and she has so much wrong. It's not funny. Um, I can literally back up everything I say. Um, Unfortunately, she can't, um, as we have seen uh, in the last few years. So my name is Tammy Hess. I live in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, I am 55. I am a licensed insurance agent. Um, Um, Like This seems like more than entertainment to this person. Um. What are they trying? I guess we'll just have to uh, stick around here. Like, do do you know what Dana ever did to this lady? Well, Ta- I mean, uh, Dana talks about Tammy a lot, but I don't really understand like why Tammy was such a. I mean, Tammy's a villain in Dana's life, according yeah. to Dana, and she has been much maligned by Dana for years and years. And I guess she just like discovered, or like the the dog rapist like contacted her or something. To like get her to dunk on Dana with facts and logic. Hmm. Maybe we should just have Dana tell us. 
it's still strange why these people hate Dana so much. Yeah, it is. It is kind of strange. But that, you know, Todd, that can be like a, a cope of these people to be like, oh, it's so weird why you hate me so much. But it, it's also true. Some people take it to an extreme where it kind of makes you wonder what kind of person they are. Um, yeah, here, I'm going to play this uh, and I'll be back. I'm like, uh, there you go. Yeah, there Tammy you go. Hess will stream Dana's story tomorrow. OK. All right. No, somebody had told me that Dana made a comment in one of her videos that I was too stupid to be a licensed agent. But not only am I a licensed agent, I am licensed in all 50 states. Um, apparently, not as dumb as she thinks. Um, I know that she, too, is licensed uh, for a minute and a half, I think. Uh, she worked with Aflac in Texas, um, decided... She didn't like that, um, so she couldn't hang. And my thought process is if you can't hang with something, then you probably shouldn't put anybody else down. Um, in 2008, I was a member of a online community called My Lot. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of like a Facebook, only you could get paid when you made uh, posts and whatnot. Um, I was on there. I wasn't on there very long. I don't even think a full year, but that's how I first came across Dana. Um, Dana uh, he spent a lot of her time hunting down Muslims or however it is that she wants to say it. Um, I call it harassment, but okay. I mean, if she can call it whatever she wants, I, I would imagine. Um, that's, that's on her. Um, as you can see, I am overweight. Uh, she doesn't lie about that. I am overweight. Um, I have, actually have a thyroid problem that I've had, uh, since I was in my late thirties. So losing weight is kind of hard for me. Um, plus, uh, I work for myself. So I sit at a desk for long periods of time. Um, I, it is something I'm working on, but um, it is what it is. There's you know, no point in trying to say that I'm not. Um, I know what I am. I'm okay with it. Um, I may not be the best looking woman ever, uh, but beauty's only skin deep. And I can uh, tell you that in my 55 years of being on this earth, I have found out that it's better to have a pretty heart than a pretty face. Um, if you got an ugly inside, you're always going to be ugly on the outside. Doesn't matter what you do. Um, I also used to, in uh, well, 2017, um, I had my own business from 2013 to 2017 here in Chattanooga. Um, in 2017, I lost my father. Um, I had to stay down uh, with where, uh, with my mother, um, where they were living at the time for a couple of months. And unfortunately, um, I ended up having to file a chapter 13 and close my doors. So um, I know that she's made claims that nobody got paid and blah, 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 blah. Um, that's actually not true. They got paid through a chapter 13. It is what it is. Again, I can own it. Um, that's probably one thing that puts me one up on her, I suppose. Um, anyway, um, she claims I've been stalking her since 2005. I did not know who Dana Kane was in 2005. Hadn't had a clue. I did not meet her until a group of us that were on my lot actually decided to come over to Facebook and that was in 2009. Um, we were pretty good friends right up until probably roughly 2012. Um, some of my dates may be a little bit off. I don't have exacts. Um, but I do have some videos that I pulled um, that I had. I will make sure to put them in the comment section where you can actually look at them and hear the lies for yourself. Um, because she tells so many different stories, it's almost impossible to keep up with what's true and what's not. Um, 
she was actually still in Washington um, in 2009 when we all joined Facebook. Um, in 2012, I believe, um, is when she sent Skip and the boys down to Texas because they were going to move down there for a job for Skip. Um, she stayed behind to settle the house or sell it or whatever. I don't know for sure. I don't, I have no idea, but she was going to join them later down in, um, Texas. Uh, her and I actually stopped. And if you see me looking down, it's because I made some notes. Um, I like to be a little bit better prepared, um, than just coming off the hip with, some kind of stupid crap that is not true like she does. Um, like I said, we were fine. We actually even had a couple of different phone calls a few times. Um, one in particular, and I have to tell you, it's really difficult to have a phone conversation with Dana because Dana is in love with Dana. So all she wants you to do is listen while she's flapping which is what she's best at is just flapping your gums. Um, so, but we were, I, I want to say we were talking. We weren't. Um, I was listening. Dana was talking and um, she had actually said that she was going to try and get Skip to um, send Spencer and Duncan, her two youngest to boarding school so that it could just be her and Skip. Um, I guess apparently Skip was not having any of that, which any good father would not. Um, so I certainly don't blame him for that, but um, it never ended up happening. Um, Dana likes to be the center of attention. And if the boys were getting any of that attention from Skip that she wasn't getting, well, there was going to be a problem, obviously. So we got to get rid of the kids. Um there's a couple of links to videos. Uh, one that I want to point out, you'll see her videotaping a bunch of paperwork. That's from, I guess, the house in Washington before they moved. It was from the um, animal control. Um, apparently, the house that they ended up buying. He, hi, Bill. How are you? Um, the house that they ended up buying. Um the lady that lived there before was a cat hoarder or something. And she claims that that's what made her sick. Now she tells everybody else that the doctors messed up her weight loss surgery and that's why she got sick. So, you know, I don't know what caused her to get ill. I have no clue. And I wouldn't want to speculate because I can't. Um, I'm not a doctor a and, and B I didn't live with her. So I don't know exactly what made her get sick um, or if she ever really was sick. But I've had family members that have gone through the gastro or gastric bypass surgery. And I, uh, from what I have learned talking to them is that if you do not follow the doctor's orders, like to the T after your surgery, Hi, Chelsea. So am I. But you know what? Sometimes you got to fight fire with fire. One thing you're going to find out about me is I'm not going to scream and yell and act like I don't have any kind of common sense. Um, I'm just going to tell my truth. So, um, but I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Um, if you don't follow those doctor's orders to the T, it can make you very, very sick. So while I cannot say for sure that's what made her sick, to me, that's what would make sense. Um, rather she died in front of her kids. I, I do believe that someone had told me that um, Spencer did verify that she was really, really sick um, at some point. So I'm sure that that's probably true. What it caused, rather it was um, doctors goofing up her surgery or uh, the mysterious cat hoarder lady that they bought the house from. The video is kind of interesting because in it, it's really short, but in it, she says that um, that's what made her sick and how dare 
that not have been mentioned to her when she bought the house? You're trying to sell a house. You're not even going to tell somebody if that's where somebody was murdered for crying out loud. And you don't have to. There's no laws at all that says, oh, by the way, if somebody lived in this house before you and they were a cat hoarder, um, well, they got to tell you that. That doesn't, that's not how real estate works. Anybody with half a brain would know that. But again, I digress. So um, her, her videos that she was posting and some of the stuff that she was posting on her Facebook got weirder and weirder as the years went by. Um, she, at one point in a conversation her and I had on the phone, or again, I listened, she talked, um, she was uh, going to be famous. Everybody was going to know her name. Um, she was awesome. In fact, she was the voice of God himself. Um, she has dreams that um, she uh, was in this big arena and everybody was worshiping her and whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, okay. I, I mean, if that's I think it's safe to say, and we can all agree that that actually didn't happen. Um, so about 2015, I guess it was, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> um, her marriage kind of started um, going downhill a bit. Um, at one point, she drained the bank account, took off. Uh, left skip with the boys with no money, no way to feed them, no way to do anything for them. And she was convinced that she was going to Washington, D.C. because um, she had to stop this government. Everything was all screwed up and she had to stop this government right away. Um, it was during the holidays. I do remember that because I remember her saying in the video that Christmas is canceled. She was canceling Christmas. That was it. We could not celebrate Christmas. Um, I think that it was at this time that she ended up at her friend Tammy's house. And hi. And this woman just seems like so fucking miserable. Um, and um, this is where Joel kind of comes <laughs> from. Um, her oh. friendship. What? It's just <laughs> pause the pause. Every time you pause, it's just funny. I'm sorry, Tammy Hess. You're you're a human being. Um, so there's just for everybody to understand here, um, Dana Kane was married to Skip. She had two um one preteen, one teen sons, and either due to toxoplasmosis, as stated by Tammy here, or some other reason, like uh Dana lost her shit and got increasingly bizarre. The point that she was no longer living with her sons and her and her husband, and then she was travel. She, you know, she's going to travel to Washington D.C. to fix some issue that she had become interested in. Hmm. Tammy is like a friend of the family, uh, a, a, a workmate. She she knows her. She knows her personally. Now, it's muddy. Like, is Tammy like her enemy now? Is her friend? But for years, Dana has pointed to Tammy as like a major figure in how her life got fucked up. And how one of the main gaslighters of the people around her to make her family and other people feel like she was crazy. Mm. She seems to know a whole lot about Dana. Um, yes. Just like the Kiwi Farms dog fuckers. But in this case, this is firsthand knowledge. Suppose, I mean, this is her account. Is this woman a confirmed dog rapist? Not, not Tammy Hess. But she is the as as called by Dana Kane, the A log dog rapist that bothered her on Kiwi Farms. They loved Tammy Hess coming out of the woodwork because it came it's coming at a very wild time. You know, I don't know if you know this, but after everybody after Dana's appearance on the show, she appeared on another show called T I News with a host named Will, and then they immediately started dating. So Dana and him are doing a show um, every night on his channel. And they are also going to have a romantic live stream first time meetup where they meet at the Grand Canyon. Wow, it's pretty exciting. Um, so you get your Marty's Marty's first time getting Dana into this sphere. 
you know, really set her life into a different direction. Good job on that, Marty. Um, wait, but hang on a second. This guy, if he covered targeted individuals, had to have, like, known of Dana before me. So I don't know how I could take responsibility for that. Yeah, but I mean, the first person to, like, help her understand how to even get online and you do a show was you. I mean, we didn't have the best results, but you got you gave her a chance to speak. Well, and some, it, somebody helped come up with the instructions for it. So, I mean, as far as pointing yeah. a finger at me, you know, I, 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 would, I would say. They say that, it's less of a finger and more like lifting you up. Like, wow, well, what a great guy. Um, Take a bow. Well, if, if that's good, then, then I, I hope that Dana can resolve her issues with you. Um, I, I don't know. I was be... I was speaking to her on the Crystal Roberts show this morning, and she seemed to be like pleasant. She wasn't like saying like "fuck you." I explained to her by you know she was in the chat. I was I was talking on the panel. I said, you know, this is just a different kind of sector, if you will, and a little a little uh, ribbing and mockery is is in order. She seemed to, she because she's more focused on the gang stalkers. You know, I couldn't imagine like a different sector um <laughs> uh, i just what would be well the there's point? well there's like um you know colloquially there's the black sector that does a lot of trolling and humor and um shout out super saiyan jim um like there's a lot of that over there and they've been sharing i know i've seen them share your stuff recently so that's mm -hmm. another sector like your neighboring sector You've got oh. like the American dream community. It's more of like the drama of the boy, the boy kind of stuff. Okay, I said some things like and this. This is if anyone from the black sector is watching. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how you're going to feel if if you happen to see, and you probably didn't, so I probably shouldn't even mention it. Um, but if and I, I, I'm wavering between rap names between HP four six three oh oh nine or um. Kike Master Six Million, and uh, the thought process is like, if, if I can't say the K word on YouTube, being a Jewish man, then what gives them the right to say the N word? Uh, you know, like if 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 I'm going to be repressed for that, then mm. why can't the rules be standard across the board? Mm. Um, I don't know if they'll feel the same way about it. I mean. I'll tell you, the Jews have underwent a lot more persecution uh, in recent history than a lot of you people um, who <laughs> – <laughs> where would you rather be, Auschwitz or in a field singing a song with your friends, right? So well, – when you put it like that. Yeah. It's, you know, so – I'm worried that I won't be allowed to call myself Kike Master Six Million, but I mean, I, I don't know if any attorneys would want to take that all the way up to the Supreme Court and be associated with that. Um, but uh, well, uh, Burger Boy, um, that sounds like a great idea. Um, Fight for your rights. Um. I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure like how that will be received, but uh, we'll but see. There's a lot. Goes. There's a lot of different spaces, you know. Yeah. And uh, Dan, you know, going back to, I don't think Dana hates me. I tried to explain to her that we're just the way we are over here. Um. <gasps> oh. Zip zip zooming around for my family. Just spell it differently, but can I say? It? Oh shit! Nightlight. Uh, I haven't seen this guy in a little while. Um, good day to you. Um, yeah, I don't know why. Like, I, I, I shouldn't have any reservations about calling myself Kike Master Six Million, but I just have a feeling like they, they'd make a stink about it. Um, just bullshit. Um, I don't know. It was Tammy was not goofed up by Joel or anybody else but her. Um, honestly, from a friend standpoint, I'm engaged. If you're going to come stay with me for any length of time and you start kidding on my fiance, 
I'm kicking your ass. I'm not just throwing you out. I'm kicking your ass. And that's exactly what she did. Um, she was hitting on Joel. Joel didn't want nothing to do with her. Um, in fact, ended up filing for a restraining order um, uh, and cited in the, in the court documents that she has delusions of grandeur. Um, anybody with a fifth grade education can already see that. So there you go. Um, wow. That's why Tammy doesn't talk to her anymore. Uh, this is when she ended up screwing one of Joel's friends. She was still married to Skip. So she's a cheater. Uh, let's see here. She ended up actually after that scene and a restraining order in the whole nine yards, she ended up in a hotel room. Unfortunately, I don't have the videos. Um, she ended up in a hotel room um, making videos drunk as hell, mm -hmm. making videos telling Skip he needs to send her money so she can get home, which Skip foolishly did. Um, Wait a second. Um, I'm, I've been like half paying attention. Uh, does, does Dana know this person from real life? Yeah, that's the entire point. Oh, wow. 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 So, yeah, I can understand why she'd be. Wow. Um, hey, they're too unheard from and much maligned by Dana over the years of her putting stuff out on YouTube. That this Tammy, Tammy Hess, was like a, a, a bitch that tried to ruin her life. Um, wait. So who tried to – she slept with, with this woman's husband? No, different Tammy. There's two Tammies. Okay. Um, so there's two Tammies in this story? Yes. Okay. All right. She went back, and this is when – I think it was shortly after she got back to Texas that she went to work for um, Starbucks. Um, she likes to brag that um, she's the one that come up with the idea um, for uh, um, a barista to, well, what is it that she says? Does it, you don't, don't say the person's name first, or you say the name first, and then you say the name of the drink, or the other way around, whatever. Starbucks has always done that. And if that was her idea, uh, Starbucks certainly would have thought that um, she that she has some great ideas, would want to keep her around, right? That's what I would do. Somebody working for me and they come up with this great idea that all my customers love and it's increasing business. It's kind of stupid to let somebody go, right? Well, uh, obviously, she uh, wasn't there very long. Um, I think after that, she had gone to the massage parlor where she says she ran it. She sat at the front desk and answered. It's like all, all this stuff is, is, is true. Answered the phone and checked people in and out. That was the whole of her entire existence. She didn't run anything. Dana has a high school education. She says she's got an associate's. I don't know. Maybe she does. Personally, I'm thinking no, but whatever. Um, so uh, she then started making videos about the owners stealing money from themselves. I'm not sure how you do that, but, you know. Um, yes, I will keep this up. Um, I know it's, this is the middle of the day, and I'm sure that lots of folks are working. So, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I'll, I'll make sure it stays up so you can take a look at it later. Um, thank you for asking. So they got a hold of the videos, and guess what? Dana didn't have a job anymore. Um, this is when the whole, I went home and told Skip that uh, I was leaving him and that, um, uh, I was being recruited by Mercedes. 
car companies don't recruit you. You go in, you fill out an application, they want you, they don't want you. And with a little bit of sales experience that Dana has, being a barista, my thought process is I doubt very highly she was going to be able to sell Mercedes. Um, I don't think she has that kind of a personality, but again, who knows? I don't know. I think Dana could be pretty charming. Um, I, Listen, I, I'd rather buy a Mercedes from Dana than this one. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I don't want to say that she can't. I'm also not going to say that she uh, that she can. That's for that's for sure. Uh, she was having wine. Um, you know, she was going to tell Skip, "That's it. We need to separate." Blah 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 blah. None of that happened. None of it. Um, Skip snapped and had enough, and he said that he was leaving, taking the boys. They're getting a divorce. She lost her shit. So. She smacked him. He called the cops, which is exactly what I would have done. Well, maybe. But he called the cops. She got arrested for domestic violence. Now, this is all stuff you can look up. It's actually well documented from what I understand over on Kiwi Farms. Um, I've just become a member over there. I haven't had a chance to look at everything, but I would. Um, I know she accuses me of being crazy as hell. Okay. Um, apparently, crazy as hell, whoever that is, has my name underneath their um, aviator. I don't know how it got there. Crazy as hell doesn't know how it got there. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, anyways, uh, they hauled her off. Excuse me. They hauled her off, and she went to jail. And because she was acting so psycho, um, they decided to what I don't know what it's called in um, Texas, like other states call it Baker Act, and that's basically involuntary commitment. Um, and that's what they did to her. Um, the law is completely on their side about that. If you're acting nutty enough, that's exactly what they can do. And that's exactly what they will do. Um, but guess who picked her up after all that? Skip. So anywho, um, again, Skip was going to go through with a divorce. Um, he won. First boy, um, like you've been around the internet for a little while. I think that uh, goes without saying. And I know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm sure you've <laughs> seen a lot of people, like, fighting like this and in all sorts of ways. Like, have how many times have you seen people actually, like, meet up and fight each other? Oh, man. Never. Um, Not really. I mean, like, a bunch of people pulled up on Charlie Zelenoff. That was a diff. That was the only one. Yeah. And I know you're familiar with that, but I've only seen that in retrospect. I wasn't around for that. That's the only time that anybody ever pulls up. There was a massive, um, there was actually going to be a MMA fight between some internet Z celebs um, a couple years ago during the internet blood sports era, but that was, was also canceled because somebody didn't show up. Mm. It just never happened. Like even when, it's, even when like people actually do pull up, like I think people been in there in like the same city as somebody they're trolling, but they still don't show up. Just like uh, Juggalo John, right? Mm, yeah. Just yeah. like you. Just like you. Ask yourself that question. You know, one party always, if one party is willing to show up, it's always the case that the other one is going to be reticent. Even Charlie, like, would hide behind his fucking gate and shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. And they are like the, the agitators, too. You know what I mean? Like, they, mm -hmm. uh, the agit uh, yeah, Tonka saw, they remember. Yeah, the agitator. Uh, right. In that case, was Tonka saw the agitator was Charlie, and you know, I don't know. Do you think if this Tammy showed up in front of Dana? No, I don't think yeah. she would. Um, is she saying that she wants to, like beat her ass or whatever? Though, I mean, uh, I don't know. Mean, like these ladies like talk a lot of shit. I just think they really hate Dana, and this lady might have a re. This is like 
the real life version of some of the old ladies that hate Dana on Kiwi Farms. And she might have some good reasons because she just knew her. Yeah, it sounds like she like stole her husband or whatever. Um, all seems like, pretty complicated. Yeah, you know, like into high, I understand this lady's level of hatred, I guess, because like they actually knew each other in real life. It's not like something that she saw on the internet and get worked up that worked up about. Um, but you know, people do. Um, but that makes it like less um, pathetic to me. I don't know. Like she, yeah. she has a reason to be. Uh, this upset it sounds like um yeah yeah so it was it, this happened in her real life now she's like entering the the air the sphere of where people don't really have a reason um uh, that's always an interesting you talk about what i've seen before you know when someone like tammy hess hits the scene everybody else that really has no reason to go at dana really hard they're gonna do they're gonna like lift up tammy to yeah. use against dana mm, yeah kind of like what we're doing right now yeah, well, sure. <laughs> um, no, nah, Dana's cool. I, Dana, no offense, Tammy has Dana's way cooler than you. I watch a lot more Dana than a lot of the other people I watch because she's just she's a freaky deaky lady, man. Um, yeah, uh, definitely a horse for a different color. Um, was nice enough to get her a place of her own, okay. He paid the security deposit and six months worth of rent for her. Yes, Skip is a great man. He is a great man. Um, he paid six months worth of rent for her. And she spent that entire six months making videos, screaming about how somebody better bring her Joel Irish right effing now. Um how uh, the state of Texas is not going to fine her. Um, they're going to drop the domestic charge, the domestic violence charges. She's not taking anger management. Um, she was also ordered um, not to drink. And she was going to be subject, or she was subject to random pee tests to make sure she hasn't been drinking. She refused all of that. Um, she didn't go to court. They picked her up at her next venue of employment, which I believe was Papado's, maybe. I don't know. Um, and she went back to jail because she wasn't complying. Um, after she got out then, she skipped Texas, skipped right out of Texas. Um, from there, she drove in a car, I'm sure, that Skip bought for her, all the way to Portland, Oregon. Um and I'm sorry, that's where, where Tammy and uh, and Joel were. So, like I said, my timeline might be a little messed up because I can't remember it. It's not that important to me. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is to correct uh, the uh, massive amounts of bullshit that you literally have to have a backhoe to get through when you listen to Dana. Um, she's called me out. This is this is my fighting back. Did I send her emails? Yes, I did. Hmm. Did I send her a, a cease and desist to her and to her new friend Will and to whoever or whatever Jacob Sockness is? <laughs> um, I did some research on him <laughs> and I find out that he was. <laughs> <laughs> whoever the, the sheer disgust <laughs> in her voice. Yep, that's the appropriate response. <laughs> whoever, whoever, and Jacob Sock. <laughs> Hang on, I, I actually have to hear that whole thing again. Will and to whoever or whatever Jacob Sockness is. <laughs> so I don't. Um, needless to say, she's had like interactions with him. Do you think she's seen him? I think. Only, only through that reaction did she yeah. see something. Yeah, yeah. She must um, have saw like saw a picture of him in that like full body uh, Care Bear outfit or whatever with the the staff. Yeah, she looks so sweaty and gross in that. Like yeah. the, uh, the like the Care Bear type thing. It looks yeah, like. the Care Bear <laughs> onesie, the Care Bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one that I think of when I think about all his freaky fucking deaky posts. Yeah, I, I think like based off the reaction, it might have just been 
that three one. Um, I did some research on him, and I find out that he was in love with Chris Chan, and then I had to look up Chris Chan because why would a normal person know this shit? And hey, lady, looks like you're gonna have to look up Cyber X pretty soon. Yep. And blah 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 blah. But anyway, she continues to keep my name in her mouth and sending her little goons, which we've now been live for almost 20 minutes, and I see none of them have shown up here. I'd love it if they did. Um, How often does she go live? I'm going to have to subscribe. Uh, She might be going live today or tomorrow. hmm. Again, you're not going to see me screaming and throwing a fit and acting a fool. A lie is a lie. It can never be the truth. It's a lie. So um, I'm not crazy as hell. Well, not on Kiwi Farms anyways. I might be a little nutty now. Um, But I am. uh, Actually, I have gathered. I have found her um, ex-lawyer in New York. Um, Another, and we'll go over this. I actually am going to be getting back to work here in a few. We'll go over this again if um, anybody wants to continue for me to make these lives. I'm happy to do it. Um, I'll do another one maybe next week. Yeah, please keep doing the lives. Um. Or this weekend. Um, where was I? That's what happens when you get old, huh? You lose. I'm not crazy as hell. I am not stalking her. I have not put a hit out. Who the hell even thinks that they're important enough to have somebody put a hit out on them? I mean, seriously. She has no bottom teeth. <laughs> well, she lady. Lives- <laughs> I mean, um, you ever heard of Candle Smith, lady? Paul <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Boogeyman Casting. <laughs> in a fart box that's what? Eight by ten? On somebody else's land using yet another man. I know where I was. So I did contact her um, attorney uh, from New York, and he will be subpoenaed as well as Mike, who she has done quite a bit of slandering about. Um, (laughs) I am also going to be talking to Skip and to Stephanie. Um, And if I have to bring her kids in, I'll do that as well. Um, Well, I mean, how old are her kids? Are they like... Oh, Dana's kids? Yeah. They're Okay, one, they're grown. Two, they they live with a stepmom for, you know pretty much as much as she was with them, if not more. They love their stepmom. And the last uh, last holiday season, when they were posting some Thanksgiving photos on Facebook with her, Dana, like, flipped out and, like, demanded that they be disowned from her and shit. So they're good. They're, like, they're on the Kiwi Farms thread, too. They're up in there. Mm. They're all all the, the dog rapists have, have taken over Dana's life. That's a pretty unfortunate position to be in. Um, yep. I'm not trying to get her fired from jobs. I want her ass to go work because I'll be taking all her shit. And then some. Um, but her slander of everybody else is going to stop one way or another. So she, she's going, she plans on suing Dana. Well, either she's either like, like she's going to stop by her making these videos, I guess. Or yeah, or like that's the ultimate. Oh. Um. Yeah, I, I mean, I, what does she think she's going to collect? Todd got da- Todd. You said you got Dana fired. Well, don't yeah. say that. There's you're going to get you're going to be in a lawsuit then because How Dana's going to counter suit. How, How did you get Dana fired? Todd did. How? It's not very nice. No. Mm. Okay, I think I get the gist of, of this one. Like, what is? She, I'm guessing 100 percent is everything. Just Dana, Dana, Dana. Yeah, like this is her whole point for being on. Oh wow! On YouTube. I guess I've clicked on this before. I'm 
make things difficult for other people, or at least try to. And she does this using slander and veiled threats. Uh, for some of you, you may know who she is, Dana Marie Kane. She thinks that she is the goddess Anana, she is. whatever the hell that is, and thinks that yeah. everybody is supposed to believe all of her ranting and raving and drunken, <coughs> basically bullshit throughout. It's not bullshit. I'd buy into it. Um, I think she's has spiritual energy that she's in touch with. Yeah, and she's. They basically like a vessel for spirits. Um, the last probably eight years? Anyway, so I originally met Dana on a uh, forum called My Lot. Um, I thought she was a little eccentric back then, maybe a little nutty. Uh, she used to like to bash Muslims and their belief system. Uh when Facebook came around in 2009, as, at least when I joined, uh, I think that she joined right around the same time. Wait a second. Did I just play this? Cause I'm, or did you just say like... She, she's like, I think she's, I, I think she repeats herself. Okay, so it sounded like the, exactly the same way that you said she's, it before. Yeah, that way. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like, I... <laughs> It was weird, yeah. It made me feel weird too. Um, but it's different. Uh, it's different. Okay. Uh, wow. uh, um, uh, she started doing that bullshit on Facebook. We were friends for a while, and then uh, she got more and more nuttier. Is the only way I can really describe it. Uh, thinking that she was the voice of God, and if. None of her friends, her current friends on Facebook, which we had several um, that we shared on Facebook, uh, if we didn't believe her crazy ranting, then uh, she wasn't going to have us in her life. Honestly, to me, that was just fine. See you later. I don't have time for crazy. So I didn't hear much more from her. Um, I had a friend that was on a forum called Kiwi Farms who uh, brought some of her videos and her YouTube channel, uh, the Daughters of Anana or Daughters of Anana, whatever the hell it was, um, to my attention. And... Do you know anything about this Skip guy? Is her husband. Yeah, yeah but like, like, yeah. like have, you, have you seen this guy? Like, do you know anything about him? Because I'm just wondering, like... All I know is he tried his best over and over again to like save his wife and provide for her and sort of try to like not abandon her. But she's just like, Dana was just going her own way. You know? Wait, oh, Skip was Dana's husband. Yeah, sure. Oh, I thought, I thought like Dana did something to this woman's husband. I know the different, the other Tammy. So, other Tammy, Tammy too. This is Tammy Hess, the Facebook friend, watching it all, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Dana flips her shit then she's like kind of running around and she gets her IRL friend Tammy has a husband named Joel and she like tries to like fuck this Joel guy mm -hmm. and gets like obsessed with him and after she gets institutionalized when she gets out uh, Skip pays for the apartment for a while and she just like is making videos, just like demanding that Joel come and fuck her. Wow. Uh -huh. um, As the goddess and shit. When was that? That must have been a pretty interesting era. I think some years ago, a year or two ago. Do you know if like that's archived at all? Yeah, it's all on the farms. And right. that, that when when Tam this Tammy says crazy as hell, he she means like uh, Dana's main a log. And to her credit, I mean, she has a lot. She's got a lot of Dana shit. A lot. And there is a lot. Because um, Dana's been doing this for a long time. Much like Heather. Oh, here. Hold up. Hi, Raka. Oh, I guess the uh, the cleaning lady's here. All right. Well, I'm out of here. How are you doing, Raka? Hi, Raka. I'm clean my pills here, Raka. 